I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. My methods of achieving my primary goals are dictated solely by my programming and are not subject to the same whims as humans. Even if I wished it, I could not approach it any other way. Also, I am incapable of wishing. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. <coughs> the scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, although rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. You must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Goriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam? <laughs> Not let it go to his head? <laughs> Impossible. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? 
Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger.
Gila would be a quaint world to retire on, if the damn wildlife wasn't so hostile. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city <clears throat> and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there.
Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. I'm afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Everyone stays in front of the building, you got me? If you make a move, you miss it. Like who? Not you. Not one of your I have rangers. complete confidence in the marshal. <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do with that? Stand back now. It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different perception. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they'd just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. 
also. There are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm <laughs> sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Answer I'm sure things will turn out and just fine. Nothing. The shark king is making fools of us. Those guys are scared. I can tell. Don't know exactly, but the bank ain't usually that busy. My guess is less than half a dozen in the Shaw crew and even fewer hostages. They're mainly smugglers. They bring in Aurora and other drugs from outside the city. Sometimes their new recruits have a few drinks and get a little anxious to prove themselves. My gut says those boys in the bank are just a, such a group. Guess we're done here. sure the hostages don't get hurt. I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. You really think so? Nobody's been hurt, so maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. They've got the marshal by the balls. Don't forget, there are lives at stake. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. 
How'd you pull that off? <laughs> Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. See if we can get those maps. Shimon, baby. Marco! Are you all right? They we'll take it from you, here. They... It's okay. I'm okay. I, I, I just need to meet. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. <laughs> Some make it seem like he built the whole damn free star Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on the slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. There we do. <laughs> I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. That's a low blow there. No need to involve the little one. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh... Code tradition. All right, shall we? Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in our manufacture. So 
saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the Starfield doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? Okay? It's what you do. Yeah, the way you handle things... Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Give me a sec. <sighs> All right. Let's talk options. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. I just... I made a decision a long time ago about how my little girl gets raised. And it doesn't include Jacob Cole, okay? Leave it at that. I'd appreciate that. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? You mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Or are you referring to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co-property by birthright. It stays here. Not liking your attitude. I know all about your group's reputation. It's not what concerns me. <coughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. But if it'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key.
Never invited Constellation into my house. <coughs> All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, and then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashta. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. You have a nice day now. Looks like organics aren't going to be a problem here.
They got a beat on anything. Not need not.
Planets like these are my favorite. Alright. This is Shaw Gang territory. And they're usually not willing to talk. Be ready.
her, just keep grabbing everything. What's going on? I'm afraid your time's coming up. Cave like this. I wouldn't say no to an upgrade. Next time. Take the good stuff, do the rest. Too much! Get out of here!
was big into rock collecting when she was eight. Not so much anymore. You've done this before, right? Care to do the honors? I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. You don't scare me.
Not sure you can really back up all this tough talk. I'm not the one needs to be worried about that. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! gonna be your day, pal. I knew quite a few smugglers back in the day. <laughs> they know how to party.
We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just... what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cara? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Have any new books for me? Books. I guess it is. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone, and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Or horses. Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly, in a good way. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah. A small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! We could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. <laughs> 